Yeah, so it's folks. Another day in paradise here. Ah, uh, bugger me. I've been digging, so taking out more weeds today. So I dug out the potato patch. Have a look at that. Nice and clean. And uh, well, I'm going to plant my uh, seed potatoes a little bit later on. Let me show you these. So I've harvested my potatoes. They've gone already into the kitchen. These are all the babies that are left over. So they're going to go back into the ground a little bit later on. But for now, they're just going to sit aside because we're going to get a few frosty nights. Just let them pass by before we plant them. In the meantime, in this bed here now, don't mind the mess everywhere because I've just been, you know, digging all day. I've actually weeded all the garden beds, all the raised beds as well. Have a look at those. So they've all been cleaned out. We're going to top them up as well with our planting mix. A little bit of black grid and superfood and then we'll plant some more veggies in there. But this one here's already got its compost and a top dressing of planting mix. And I'm going to add our superfood. This is our new improved superfood, folks. For those who have already bought it, look at it. Look how it flows. It's just beautiful. This is fantastic. This is what you want to get. Nothing wrong with the old stuff. Don't get me wrong, but this is a lot easier to handle. So you can spread it a lot easier in the garden. And we've got our black grid as well. Now, the superfood is made from soldier fly larvae. It's packed full of good ingredients. So it's all from unprocessed fruit and veggies and uh, that haven't been decomposing. So they're still quite fresh, the fruit and veggies, that once, once they go into the processing plant with the, uh, the larvae. And the black grid, as you already know, is a mineral, rock mineral, which is the only one with the phosphate, natural forming phosphate and calcium. So a handful per square metre of each. So that's a handful. And this is half a metre. So it doesn't go far, does it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to put a bit more. It's the Greek in me. I can't control myself. So black grid on top. If you want to dig it in, you can as well. But when you water, it'll work its way down. And as you can see, folks, this is a no-dig garden now. We've just layered the compost and the planting mix on top. We're not digging it in. We're not mixing it through. We don't have to. If you want to, you can. Now, have a look at the superfood, how well it spreads. Look at this. This is fantastic. I love it. We're doing a special on this one today, folks, for you. So you can get a bucket of superfood like this and a four kilo black grit. 20 bucks. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? today only so go on the website and knock yourself out grab yourself a four kilo and a 950 gram and enjoy the wonderful pleasures of this giving you the amazing results that you want to see in your garden that's the life in the bacteria you want there you want it to populate and you want your plants to thrive and this is what we're going to watch here over the course of the next few weeks once we finish planting all right we've got a mulch now better to mulch before you plant because you'll never get your plants in there otherwise well You'll get your plants in there, but you won't get your mulch down afterwards. So add the mulch first, and I'm using our bean straw. This has been sitting, I broke it down already. You can see all the mycelium kicking in already. See all the white stuff on it? That's the good mycelium that's decomposing the mulch. So it's already activated. And because we've got our planting mix underneath, it's gonna feed off this as we water it as well. Now, if you've been following my pages, and seeing how I've been gardening in the past, you're probably saying he's changed his ways again. And what I'm referring to is the mulching, because last time I actually showed you how to soak the mulch with a little bit of liquid fertilizer in it and hydrate it really well, because it's important to hydrate the mulch as well. But that was done, I think, in springtime, mid springtime, as the weather was getting warmer. And it's important to get the mulch hydrated because it dries out so much quicker. But now in winter, it's not so necessary for the moss to be so moist because the moisture in the ground is going to be remaining in there and it's purely a blanket on top. Yeah, we're going to hydrate it and we're still going to put our liquid feed on it, but we don't have to worry about getting it super drenched completely because once it rains a couple of times, the ground's going to stay moist. And I haven't watered this garden, but you can see how wet it is already. I've just top dressed and that's our bags, but underfoot here, it is quite moist. Um, so, you know, the weather's cool, the rains are coming, and we save on watering. I need some more mulch. So I started positioning the seedlings now, folks. I've put the chives, they're not planted yet, they're just sitting here on the end. Now, this is a wider bed here, so I'm gonna go two rows, as I've done over here. Here I've got cabbage, and keep in mind, when they're small seedlings, spacing them accordingly to what the, it says on the label may seem a little bit too far-fetched because they look they're about 60 centimeters apart and you're thinking wow all that space in the middle is a waste 
but they need that space to grow because once they start to form, they will actually go to around 40 or 50 centimetres in diameter, each one of those, so they need to have that spacing. So you don't want them to really be rubbing. So I'm doing it by eye, and I reckon I'm pretty close there. Now, don't mind that capsicum. I planted that there, and it's still you know, quite vibrant. I'm going to see if I can get that to overwinter and come up again next springtime. Oh, sweetheart, what do you want? Huh? What do you want? You want to lick my hand? Huh? Oh, you want cuddles? Oh. <laughs> She wants cuddles. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's going to come and push in. Here we go again. It's on. Come on. All right. Leave me alone, she says. I want my pats. He says, bugger you. Uh, puppies. You know what they like. And this is broccoli romanesco. If you haven't grown one of these, you should. They're beautiful. They're actually quite sweet too in flavour. The head is unlike your typical broccoli. It almost looks like a cauliflower, but it spirals up to a little point on top. Uh, and it's a lime green, almost yellow in colour as well. And now I am going to put some chives, some more garlic chives in between. So I've got these spaced out about 50 centimetres. They're going in the middle here. And I've got another batch over there as well. So I'm planting these all in a row together because I like symmetry. I like organisation. And these are cauliflowers all year round. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we ran out of mulch here. We've got to get some more mulch. And look at this, we've got about 50 seedlings in this little punnet here. It's going to be a nightmare to separate. These are mini iceberg lettuce. You've got to just shake them carefully so you don't tear the roots because they go backwards afterwards. Otherwise, there's one, no, there's two there. I'm just going to plant them together. Now this bed is a little bit narrow. And putting one down the middle, it's not going to suffice for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually zigzag them. So about 30 centimetres apart, zigzagging like this, inside, outside. And that way I'm using up the space properly without them being too congested. Look at this, look at this. Look, how many are in there? One, two, three, four, five seedlings. You put this under water to separate it shaking off the soil, see if I can do anything there. If these were the plugs, folks, chalk and cheese, doesn't matter. I haven't got any because I didn't organise any. And I'm keen to get these into the ground, so... Next time, if you hear me talking about plugs, we may make them available again for you guys too. And I know a lot of you love them. I love them too. All right, so that's all I'm putting in here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, one more. Make it ten. Oh, they're all in the ground, I'm giving it a good soak now. If you can't tell, this is a hose with a watering wand on the end. <laughs> Just going to soak them really well before I, I apply the liquid fertilizer, folks, because I want to hydrate the mulch properly. Otherwise, it'll just absorb all the uh, the fertilizer, which is okay, but. We do need it to uh, work its way through. So once you get the mulch hydrated, it will release some moisture back further down and we want to get it down to the uh, seedlings. Now, I'm only going to use the liquid gold to start with. And then after a week or two, I'm going to look at that, we missed one. Then after a week or two, I'm going to use the Eco Butch and the liquid gold just to kick him on. This is our seaweed solution, top shelf stuff, folks. You can get this on our website. We might be out of stock, but it's available at all leading garden centres. Uh, check out our stockers page for this. And don't forget, the four kilo black grid and the superfood 950 gram, it's one day special for you, 20 bucks. Plus postage, obviously, but that's dirt cheap, folks. You're not gonna get a price like that for a long time. From Eva Silly, Marisi.